Raw selvage denim is one of the few fabrics that is actually meant to age and respond to your body movement, respond to your lifestyle. It's something that's gonna get more and more beautiful over time and sometimes something you can appreciate more than when you first got it. These are garments that truly capture your memories, capture events in your life, and I'm the type of person where I do associate clothing and various garments and accessories with certain events, certain milestones, certain achievements, and just things that happen throughout my life. And raw selvage denim just makes it a little bit easier to appreciate the journey that you've had with that particular garment. Indigo denim long through history has been known to fade down and literally kind of go through a sort of metamorphosis due to a couple of different factors such as the dye stuff, such as the person's lifestyle, the weight of the garment, the cotton used. There's so many different things that determine how a garment is gonna fade, but it is the easiest medium to allow someone to connect their own personal lifestyle to the way that they dress. I for one have gone through so many raw denim garments definitely way more than the average man should, to be honest. But there really is truly nothing like a nice raw selvage denim jean or a raw selvage denim jacket after a couple of years of wear, a couple of years of wash. But recently I purchased my very first raw denim shirt or rather a rinsed or one wash denim shirt. And basically this was a raw denim shirt that had been given a slight wash just to remove shrinkage, to brighten up the blues, to remove the starches. And I gotta say, I really love it. It's been one of my most worn garments since I bought it. And being in the raw denim game as long as I have, I've noticed on style forums, I've noticed on YouTube, I've noticed on TikTok, there really is a lack of love for the raw denim shirt. There's not really that much information, not really too many pictures of faded raw denim shirts. There's a couple that are really nice, but I feel like there's not enough coverage of the raw denim shirt itself. Everyone's either concerned about either the raw denim jean or the raw denim jacket, but the raw denim shirt in and of itself is one of the most beautiful American classics that we We've all grown to know and love. And while getting a pre-washed denim shirt is cool and it looks good, there's really nothing like fading your own denim, which is why today I wanna to talk about some of the best raw denim shirts that you could buy. So today for the first pick, I wanna start with the 316 Crosscut Indigo Denim Shirt. And this is an absolutely beautiful denim shirt with this very deep dark color, but it's not too dark. It's made from a 10 ounce Japanese selvage denim and it has this really gorgeous hairy texture to it. And it has a little bit of that kind of twill look. And yes, every denim is a twill, but not every denim presents with that kind of weave as much as other denims might. And this is a particular denim that really prides itself on its texture. And 316 has long been known to create some of the highest quality raw selvage denim garments known to man and is a brand that has only gotten better and better over time, really refined their fits, really refined their details. They found their look, they found their place in menswear and actually, in my opinion, have changed the industry, at least the niche menswear industry, and really left the mark, making one of their garments definitely a grail piece to have in your wardrobe. And the cut of this shirt is really just insane. From the collar all the way down to the details on the cuff, this shirt is fully kitted and fully outfitted with the Selvage ID placket, which you really don't see on a lot of denim shirts. You see it relatively occasionally, but a lot of brands that manufacture raw denim shirts actually don't use the Selvage ID placket because it's very hard to cut. A shirting pattern pattern on such a small piece of fabric. But what I really love about this shirt is the architectural design of the pockets as well as the back yoke, which is synonymous with the cross-cut Western model that 316 uses for their shirts. This isn't the only fabric that these shirts come in, but to my knowledge, this is the only current raw selvage denim shirting fabric that they have in stock. And they've made others before, but this is just the current standard raw denim. And at 10 ounces, this is a shirt that's going to feel pretty sturdy, pretty durable. It's not going to be too heavy, but it's also not the lightest shirt that I've seen. I'd say it's a perfect midweight for a raw denim shirt that's gonna fade beautifully over time. Next up, I wanna talk about the Wythe New York Rinse Denim Shirt, or rather the Rinse Denim Pearl Snap. And basically, this is a non selvage raw denim shirt, but it is made from a really gorgeous indigo denim that's actually rope dyed with natural indigo by hand, which means that it has this really gorgeous, vibrant blue. It has a little bit of a greenish kind of cast over it after washing. And granted, this shirt is super light, so you're gonna get more vintage fades, not really high contrast fading, but it is an absolutely gorgeous shirt to have in your wardrobe, especially considering the back yoke and how different it looks as opposed to the traditional Western yoke. And the small detail that I really love about this shirt is that it actually brands itself so well with beautiful light blue or French blue pearl snap buttons. And it has a three button pearl snap cuff, which I really love. This has easily become one of my favorite shirts. It's my first raw denim shirt that I've owned. 
and on various sites as well as Wife New York site, they say that this shirt is gonna fade down to a really gorgeous vintage blue, depending on your lifestyle with wash and with wear. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more on the vintage side and has a little bit of like an artsy flair to it, then the Wife New York rinse denim shirt definitely is for you. Next up, we got the Studio The Artisan Natural Indigo 14 ounce denim shirt. And Studio The Artisan has long been known as one of the purveyors and pioneers of raw selvage Japanese denim and is also hailed as the brand and the denim maker that started the Japanese denim craze as a whole in 1989, I believe. And now I'm not saying they're the first to do Japanese denim because a lot of you in the comments have told me it was Big John, I believe. But Studio The Artisan is known as the first of the Osaka Five to popularize Japanese denim. And basically this is their natural indigo denim model that I believe is the same Japanese denim used for the sd d one jeans that I actually own. Don't quote me on that, I'm definitely gonna check that out. But the blue looks very similar and I believe the denim for the jean is also 14 ounces. But regardless of that, this is a gorgeous denim shirt that has this really vintage kind of blue that's not necessarily gonna deliver high contrast fades, but is definitely meant to be more of a vintage repro piece and is also meant to feel way more Western than any of these shirts. Arguably, probably even more Western than the Wythe shirt. And what's interesting about this shirt is I believe it is crafted from a selvage denim, but they actually don't have any selvage ID treatment on the shirt. And I've said this before that selvage denim doesn't necessarily mean that it's better than non-selvage. And we, at the end of the day, can't really tell what's selvage and what isn't selvage just by looking at the denim. But either way, Studio The Artisan is known for making some of the highest quality Japanese selvage denim and denim products in general that rival some of the most luxury men's fashion brands in the entire world. So I wouldn't be surprised if this denim shirt is crafted from selvage denim. And there's a couple of reasons why it might not have the selvage ID. It could be due to using scrap from denim jackets or denim jeans to make this shirt. It could be by design choice. It could be because probably the old vintage Western shirts didn't necessarily seek out to do selvage ID treatment on shirts. So in order to keep as true as possible to vintage denim shirts, they modeled it probably almost exactly to the T, which is the reason why this shirt has that real kind of vintage feel. Either way, this shirt has a superior refined fit, the perfect length, the perfect hem, the construction looks super clean, and you guys know I'm such a sucker for natural indigo denim. I literally might have to cop this shirt myself, and it pains me to say that because my bank account is crying right now. Next up, we got the Nudie Jeans Jonas shirt in a dry Ace Selvage, and the Ace Selvage, I believe, is one of Nudie Jeans' proprietary denims that they actually get from the Shinya Mills in Japan, and this shirt is a very stark contrast from the one that we just saw from Studio The Artisan because this shirt has a lot of selvage ID treatment on it. When you take a look at the cuffs, when you take a look at the pockets, when you take a look at the placket, Nudie Jeans really went out of their way to put a lot of selvage ID on this shirt, which definitely justifies the price tag. It is a pricey shirt because it is an expensive shirt to make because they definitely had to use a lot more denim fabric than normal in order to get all these selvage ID details. And you also have to have a really skilled pattern maker and cutter in order to be able to do something like this. But this is a really beautiful denim shirt if you plan on having just one and you really love selvage ID details. It is a pretty hefty 14.2 ounce denim, which is pretty much a jean weight. That's definitely more of a midweight jean. So this is a pretty heavy shirt. So if you've never had a raw denim shirt before and maybe starting off with this shirt is not for you, but this is definitely a great shirt for competition fades if you really want high contrast fades. Maybe you're doing the Indigo Invitational. I'm not sure if they have a competition for denim shirts, but if they do, this is definitely the shirt that I would personally go with, especially considering the fact that Nudie Jeans offers free repairs on every single one of their products, no matter where you get it from. And I believe those free repairs are guaranteed for life as long as the garment is reparable. And that is why I really trust Nudie Jeans a lot. I've bought a couple of things from them before and I love their denim. I love their construction. They have a really strong construction and I believe that their Japanese denim products are made in Italy by skilled artisans that honestly just really make a nice denim product. I also love that Nudie Jeans kept the branding to a minimum on this shirt because a lot of times they use their arcuates, which I do really like and I wouldn't mind it on the back of a denim jacket or the back of a denim shirt. But for something that's as hefty as this and something that you're gonna have for such a long time, I think that it was definitely a smarter way to go to keep the branding down to just a small woven label stitched onto the pocket. I think it was a very smart move, especially considering the classic nature of this shirt. And while it is 
modernly refined. It does have a little bit of that ode to that vintage style. And this is just one of those shirts that I think you're gonna have for a really, really long time, especially considering the weight. So the longer you have it, the better it's gonna look. For the last shirt, it's not exactly a denim, but it is a raw indigo shirt that is gonna fade down. And y'all know that I love throwing curveballs at you and keeping it interesting. So today, our last pick is gonna be the Benzac Denim Developers Scout shirt in a 10 ounce Japanese natural indigo corduroy. And I for one love the velvety, very sleek, very luscious nature of corduroy fabric, whether it's shirts, whether it's jackets, whether it's suits, whether it's pants. Corduroy is one of my favorite fabrics ever. And to have a natural indigo corduroy that's meant to fade down is something that's just so interesting to me. I definitely have to cop this because I really just have to see it in real life, the nature of corduroy corduroy in and of itself is to fade and age down beautifully, at least real corduroy is. And I can only imagine that this shirt is no exception because as we all know, natural indigo does not penetrate the cotton fiber. It sits on top of the yarns, which is the reason why with wash and wear it actually fades. So for a fabric that's engineered to fade and a dye that's engineered to fade coming together, I can only imagine what kind of fading patterns you're going to get with something like this. It is a 10 ounce Japanese natural indigo dyed fabric that has this beautiful shine, a gorgeously modern fit that's a little relaxed at the body. It's been given a one wash treatment to remove the shrinkage, to remove any starches, to remove any excess dyes, and also to remove the crocking factor because you really don't want to throw this shirt on with something that's white and then it's going to dye transfer. I love the really thick utilitarian pockets. They're nice and wide and very spacious and Benzac Denim Developers really has this kind of militaristic vibe that I absolutely love and I think really works very well with this kind of corduroy shirt and you can definitely tell that this shirt is engineered to not only be a regular button down shirt but also to be an over shirt because of the size of the buttons they're really nice very sizable and they're complemented by the expert construction that benzac denim developers is known for so this is a really special really unique denim shirt that while it's not a denim yes i get it it is a shirt that's going to fade down due to the indigo factor which is the reason why denim jeans even fade in the first place it's not because they're denim but it all has to do with the indigo that's used because indigo never penetrates the fiber just sits on top so I felt like this had a place at the end of the list because it's something fun it's something exciting and at the end of the day I don't want to be like every other denim channel that's recommending everybody all the same shit I just want to have fun with menswear I want to have fun with raw denim I want to have fun with raw indigo garments that are just gonna fade so that's the reason why I decided to throw this at the end of the list some of y'all are gonna like it some of y'all are gonna hate it but it's something to appreciate regardless and again is gonna be one of those shirts that's just gonna end up being a grill piece but anyways guys i really appreciate you sticking to the end of the video i hope y'all had fun watching i hope that this helps you guys figure out what kind of denim shirt you're looking for and i know they're kind of hard to find when you're looking for something so specific as well as something that's just so personal to you and i know a lot of people say that the raw denim jean is almost like a second skin i would argue that the raw denim shirt is more of a second skin than anything else it's closer to the body it's lighter to the touch and arguably is probably something that's going to get more staining, more wear, more abrasion. So yeah, I really just hope that you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully found the perfect denim shirt for you. And if you guys have any other recommendations for denim shirts, definitely make sure to drop them down in the comments. And if you have any other lists that you want me to create, ideas for denim videos, ideas for men's fashion videos, definitely let me know. I appreciate the recent support. I appreciate y'all so much. So with that being said, thank you guys again, and I'll see you next week.